Hello and welcome to a new video from me. Today I will show you step by step how to make the best use of the search functions and in the ABAP development tools in Eclipse. Whether you are looking for code locations or need to analyze errors, here you will learn the essential techniques to make your ABAP development in Eclipse more efficient. So I have a test program here and the first thing what I want to show you is where can you find code course so right mouse click and click on get where used list or the shortcut Control shift and G then we see here a list of objects then we can filter some object types for example I only want to uh, filter the programs click on apply and now I see here only the programs with this code call, with this function call. Next, I can add the package. So now I only see the results in this example package and only the programs. So we can click here on the error and we see how many calls, how many matches we have in this programs. And with double click on it, we jump directly to the program. Then next, I show you the normal search. I have here two tabs. You can customize this. I have only checked the ABAP object search and the ABAP source search. And here again, we can uh, filter some properties with control space. We have um, some entries here we can pick for example the type and with type colon I can add here some uh, packages programs CTS views and so on so I pick the the CTS view uh, data definition for example and here is the property filter. I cannot add the set star because I have to put the set star in the line above in the object name pattern input field. So let's paste it here, set star and click on search. And then I see here the result for CDS views in my system. Not that much. Then we can click on the tab ABAP source search and we see here the message. It's not available with this backend. I tried to activate this. If you want to do this, you have to call the transaction SFW5, then on continue and under the folder enterprise business functions, we scroll down to the entry um, SRIS source source search so we click on the checkbox and then we have to click to activate changes but be aware i have done this and the result was a shredded container why we see here the the memory usage increased because of the index tables but after that i had had always this error here sql error and i was not able to log in in the system again with the result that i had to create the uh, container new. Next shortcut is Control Shift A. It's a kind of quick search. Here can I type in another, I can filter another types, groups, packages, applications, users, and so on. So I pick the package, then I pick my set example package. dollar set examples and we see here all objects in my set examples package and now again i want to filter these things more so i add here the type and i want to show only the programs 
So I pick here type colon program. So now I have in my result list all programs from my package set ABAP examples. Then let's see if we have some CDS views here. DDLS, no, no CDS views in this package, not yet. And we can add here normal string, string search to, for example, set star. And again, we see all set objects in the package ABAP examples. We could also use uh, a creation date for filtering. Then we have to type in the created column and the year, for example. So I double clicked on the domain and we see here on the project explore the two errors. If we click on that, we see the path in the project explorer where this object is, for example, this domain. Okay. The next, I open the quick search again with the shortcut Control Shift and A. Then I want to filter these objects again with my set package. And because of the many objects, I do another filtering with type colon programs. And we see we have here more than 50 results and we can here click on preferences and we can extend the maximum number of results to 500. So now we, we do an, the search again and now we see all results all 139 results and we can browse them all now. Okay, so on the left side again, we see the path. Yes, thanks for sticking with it to the end. I hope you found the tips on searching in Eclipse useful. If you like the video, please click on like. Do you have any questions or tips of your own? Write them in the comments, subscribe to the channel to become part of the community and not miss any future videos. Take care and good luck with your coding.